Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. He purchased two bedroom flats at Lekki. Yes, sir. At what cost? 60 million. 60 million. Wow. God of choosing must have blessed that young man. Let's clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Last week, when I was there in the house to see the house, you know, I told me, Daddy, it is now my turn to get a wife. Because it just started years, this year. He said, it is my turn now to get a wife. I said, well, God will help you to give you a good wife. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for you. As God has been with him from the beginning, so shall I be with him to the end. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray for each and every one of us, heaven at last, in Jesus' name. Amen. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is your son. I hope he's a choosing. He comes once in a while. He comes once in a while. Yes. Make sure you talk to him and make sure he, he remains a choosing so that God of choosing will protect him and protect what he has. And make him born again and prepare him for heaven at last. So send our message to him. God of choosing will confirm it in his life. Amen. Clap unto God of choosing. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing brethren. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Please, sir, can I render a song? Yes, you can. Jesus, I salute you. President, President General, General among the, the nation. nation. Yes, I salute you. President General among the nation. God of choosing, we salute you. President General among the nation. President General among the nation. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Lovett Adego K. I joined Chuzi in the year 2008. Thank God for making me and my family a Chuzi. Thank you, Father. I want to thank God for what he has done in my life, for his goodness and his mercies upon my life and my family. It all started when I got married in the year 2021. So I took him. After I took him, I gave birth and I lost him. I took in again the same thing. So I said, what is this? Even the people I got married before them, they are all carrying their baby and I'm a choosing. I said, okay, the God of choosing knows the best time. Mm. Then it, it, I came to, a, um, by the grace of God, I came to the program when we did our 20, 20 years anniversary. So after the prayer of my daddy, I took him. When I took him, the first month, the second month, all those why that I used to lost my baby. Whenever I'm in, the first sign that I will know that I'm in is I'll start seeing a war gecko in my house. I'll start seeing, if I'm one week pregnancy, I'll start seeing a baby war gecko. Once my pregnancy is growing up, 
I'll be the, the, the one that will become the biggest one will call me. The more my pregnancy is growing, that is I'll be seeing the size. Mm. And I started asking around. I said, ah, is it that when someone is pregnant, that is a good sign to see what Goku? Because whenever I'm not pregnant, I don't used to see those symptoms. Some will say that ah, it is not good though. Then some will say, okay, I should not be killing the war, gecko. I said, ah, but I'm used to be scared of this and I don't like it in my house. Why would I kill it? Sorry. So the first one, it happens like that. The second one, it happens like that. And after that, I'm in for, if my, my pregnancy has grown like five months, I'll be having a very terrible dreams. I'll have a dream that I give birth and I'll forget my baby at home from morning to evening. Coming back, my baby will be so weak that he will give up and I will cry. That is the same thing I had first and second. And when I took it the third time again, I see the sign of war gecko. I said, what is this? I started praying, I prayed, I told my mommy, she joined me in prayer. So, when I got first, second, and third, and fourth month, I had the same evil dreams again. I had a dream, I give birth, and my baby stood up and told me that, mommy, I'm going. Mm. I said, eh, where are you going? She said, I'm going, I'm going. I said, God of choosing. My mommy is with me in the dream. She was putting on her prom. I said, mommy, people should help me pray for me. What is happening? My baby wants to leave me again. And I started crying. And I cried out of the dream. Around one or two, I woke my husband. I said, this same evil dream I started again. He said, what is all this one? I said, okay, luckily enough for me, we're having a program that very day on Sunday. And I said, this same thing will not happen again. I make a vow, me and my husband, we make a vow of 50,000. That if this great God of choosing, the God of my pastor, the God that has never failed, if he gave me a baby, I want to know that this time around, it is the one that gave me this baby. I want a baby boy. I want a baby that is so strong, a baby that when people see, they will know that yes, this one is the handwork of God. And I, I make that vow and I pay the part. Immediately I came to church, I paid part of the vow. So I went home that very day. That day marked the end of that evil dream in my life. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And again, so I, getting to six months, I felt sick. I said, hey, this devil, you are, you, you are too small. My God is more than you. Mm. They admit me, I took blood. And some people will be telling me that, ah, did I give you injection? I said, yes. They said, my blood is short and typhoid. Hey, hey, someone that is pregnant, if they give injection, sometimes it might affect the baby. I said, this baby, life has already been seen with my God. That nothing will happen to my baby. So when the time came to give birth, people that were pregnant together, even from the other religion, they gave birth. Ah, people will be asking me, yeah, baby, you never born. I said, ah, my time will come. So I say, God, I know you will not disappoint me. So when it gets to three more weeks for me to give birth, we do our projected crusade. I make a vow also that I will not miss that crusade for one day. Even Tuesday service, I will not miss it. And I keep still to eat. So the day I will give birth, it started, the labor started, and my husband was not at home that day. He used to be at home all this while. But that very day, he was not at home. And I said, I will not tell any of my neighbor because all of them, they are from other religion. I said I will not tell any of them this time around that I'm in labor. Even my little sister, I didn't wake her. I was just praying. I said, God, give me the strength. Give me the strength. I was praying, feeling the pain. I was praying from around at 10 to 5 in the morning. I said, okay, it is time. I can now go now. Because my sister said, whenever I'm in labor, I should delay so that it will cook me very well. I said, okay. I woke my sister. And I went to I didn't even go to hospital. I went to a midwife house and it started. I called this God. I called my branch pastor. I said he should pray for me that I'm in labor. He prayed. And this is how God of choosing gave me a bouncing baby boy. Mm. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. God of choosing proved to everyone that this baby is a gift from him. Mm. My baby, when he got to one month, people will be asking me, is this baby of one month? This baby is so strong. Go, ah, this one is too strong. I said, it's not too strong. It's a choosing Mopo. Wow. My baby is so strong that since I gave birth to him, he has not felt sick. Wow. 
this God is so great. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. But it's true, the joy of God comes and added no sorrow. I'm here to glorify the name of this God with my remaining part of vow to tell him thank you for not putting me to shame, for not making them to laugh at me, asking me, Shabi, you are a choosing. I said, this God has done it for me. Let his name alone be glorified forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. I wish my daddy, G.O., heaven at last, his family, the choosing white word, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Choosing is blessed. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Sister says she made a vow when the time of challenge came. Vow never to miss Tuesday service. Vow never to miss project or program. And also vowed cash, and you can see her redeeming the cash. And I believe also she is still faithful to her vow, attending all services. I'd like you to borrow from that and make sure in all our services you are there. You never can tell the time, the day, the service that God or choosing will visit you. All our Tuesday service, you must be there Thursday, Sunday, even the workers' meeting and the projector program every Friday evening. Make sure you participate, and God of Chosen will give you answer to all your problems. Before we listen to the second to the last testifier, let's run through this announcement. This is to remind all the intercessors in Lagos, comprising those in the branches, and all the regions and all the autonomous regions, that their one-week program, coupled with everyday vigil, in preparation for the programs coming up, God's covenant of peace and blessing, the program starts on the vigil and fasting and praying program for all intercessors. It will start on Monday, 25th of March. Your gathering point is still intercessors camp. So remind all the Joshua groups on two sisters of their monthly meeting coming up on 27th of March. The venue is Sanusi Street by Jesha, Jesha Market by 4.30 p.m. All our pregnant sisters, you are enjoined to visit the Choosing Hospital and Maternity Home for your Tineta Clinic. We do the clinic every Tuesday and every Thursday of the week. We have pastors that will pray for you. We also have doctors and nurses that will give you health talk concerning your pregnancy. We also have laboratory and scan services that will be of great benefit to you and your baby. Agoda Groups on One, your publicity is coming up on Sunday, 24th of March. Your gathering point is number 27, Ironi Avenue. Your gathering time is 4.30 p.m. Since to remind us through later, Region One, brethren, of their projector crusade coming up tomorrow. The venue is number 10, Bamboye Street, by Elaje Gate, Costain Bus Stop. Also, this is to inform all the members of Festac region. The projector crusade tomorrow will hold at my two shopping complex in front of Child's Foundation Primary and Nursery School inside my two shopping complex. All the chair department members both those in the headquarter and those on all our branches are reminded of their vigil coming up on Tuesday, 26th of March, by 10 p.m. prompt. Second to the last testifier for today. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, sir, before, can I render a song to God? Please, you can render a song to God. Okay. Father, may you reign, may you reign. Jesus, may you reign, may you reign. Yesterday you reign, you reign at in my life. Today come and reign, and 
and reign forevermore. Just in praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Choma Lovett from Imo State. I joined Chosen in 2018, and I thank God for making me a Chosen. Thank you, Father. I came out to testify of this God's wonders in my life. First, I thank God for granting me my heart desire by giving me a baby, bouncing baby girl. Thank you, Father. You said your desire, yes. bouncing baby girl. girl. Yes, actually, wow. my first baby was a boy. During the time of this, my baby, I came to church. I saw a seed. And I asked God that I know that you are the God of wonders and miracles. I know you will do it for me. I want a baby girl as my second issue. So when I did that, during the time of, when it's time for me to go for scan, I went for scan. The devil came trying to change my baby. Each time I went to scan, the scan, they would tell me it is a boy. Not first, not second, not third. Hmm. But because I believe in this God, I keep telling them I know what this God can do for me. Because he did it in my first baby. I know he will still do it here. So, it came, I even stopped. I said I will not go for scan again. So, I left it till the time for me to give birth. I even bought a baby's clothes, a girl's clothes and keep with faith. Hmm. So, during the time of, it's time for me to give birth. Actually, sorry, I gave birth with CS. I did it myself because the baby was too big. And my scan was showing that I cannot give birth to a baby that is less than 3.5, but she was 4.2. Hmm. So I ordered for the CS. But the devil still did not wait. The devil said, okay, come and pass this one. Let me see. On that day, the date that the doctor gave to me, I came on Thursday. Begin the next week, Thursday, that is the day of the CS. I went to the hospital with my mother, because my mother is a chosen here. She's the one that brought me to this church. So I came with my husband to the hospital. So when it's time, they dressed me up and went to the theater. After when they brought out the baby, the devil came. I passed out. Hmm. I wasn't myself. I saw myself going to a narrow road. That place was very far. Calm, no voice, I can't hear, I can't see anybody. I was just running and running and running. Keep running. So at a point, Someone appeared to me on white. I could not see the face. The face was covered with light. The voice came, my daughter, go back. It's not yet your time. Go and carry your child. Hmm. The voice came two times. I have to run back. Do you know, my beloved people, when I woke up, I saw myself that truly, truly, I have already passed away because hmm. they brought oxygen. I saw myself on oxygen. So I didn't know what happened. The doctors. They told me, they started telling me of what happened. That they even asked me, Madam, which church do you go to? Because they thought that I'm a dead person. Because they, even, the, even the oxygen, I was not responding. Mm. To a point before I coughed, I woke up. That was when I even noticed that I gave birth to a baby girl. Oh. So I came to thank this great God who made it possible for me to be in the land of the living today. Hmm. It's not by my strength, not by my power. But because of his tender mercy and love, I came to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. I said before they started that CS, I told God that I am a choosing. I will never die. It is not yet my time because he said in the book of Psalm that I shall not die but live and declare his goodness in my life. And I said it that if you do this for me, I will come with my seed and my baby to testify. And here I am today to say, God, this God who do it for me, all the glory, all the honor, all adoration, be ascribed unto your holy name, the King of kings, the Lord of lords. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. So at this junction, I wish my dear heaven at last, or the choosing world by me and my family heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. I have one word to you. For you to tell you, my brothers and sisters, you see this seed and tithes. It pays a lot. Mm. If you keep on giving your seed and tithes, anything you ask, you demand from this God, he will do it for you. Because so many of my fellow antenatal ladies were asking me, Madam, how did you do it? Because many of them that gave birth during the time I gave birth, they gave birth to a 